Kicking off with newcomer Marshwood in the B Championship. Let's get the long stick highlights going. Clipper Colin Singer oh, winds up. Puts it in the back of the net, 3 and 1 Clippers. Another long stick, Marshwood's Ty Kugler. He could play too. Hits Sam DeGrappo for Marshwood. The Arbathan answer, Pete Sihogis and Steve Fulton with a nice assist. Then Kugler with his team down 5 4 in the second. The sick move and the backhander ties things up at 5. In the third, Yarmouth up a goal and Wonder Twin Powers activate. Kugler sets up his twin, Kevin, it's 7 7. But Sihogis answers, going upper deck for the goal. And then Max Tain extends the lead early in the fourth. Clippers up 9-7. And then Singer to Sihogis puts it out of reach. Sihogis, five goals, 13-10 Yarmouth. The Clippers repeat as champs. When Marshwood challenged them, they had a response. Our coaches tell us it's a game of runs. So we knew it was going to happen. So we just had to keep the foot on the pedal and just keep scoring. And our defense played amazing. Sea Boys Championship game, Wayne Fleet and Oak Hill. Oak Hill's first appearance in a title game. Flyers jump out to a lead. Harry Millspa finds Rowan Hopkins. It's 2 0. Then Ela Holdrich finds Nico Kirby. Wayne Fleet rolling from the beginning. They're up 9 to 1. Millspa then dealing to Owen Anderson for the sweet goal. 17 5, Wayne Fleet. Third title for Wayne Fleet. In the celebration here, number 25, Michael Verano. The last of the eight Verano children to attain, attend Wayne Fleet. Fitting in, the Veranos go out with a championship. Wayne Fleet girls and Freeport in the CE championship. Second half, Jess Connors working behind the cage. That's her office to Kylie Sherry. 5-2 Flyers. Freeport would pull within 5-4, but Connors then goes to work. In traffic, goal for Connors. She had five Flyers up the lead. Freeport responds. They make it 7-6 before Tilsley Kelly scores, and it's 9-6. Wayne Fleet like that, but Freeport another rally. Kate Tracy, the sweet steal, pulls them within 9-8 with five to play, but the Flyers possess and hold on for the 9-8 win. 13th title for Kathy Connors. She gets to celebrate this one with her daughter Jess. Yarmouth and Greeley girls in the B Championship game. Clippers on a 12-game win streak, and they came out strong. Annie Bergeron with the steal at midfield, and she is going coast to coast cruising in for the goal. Then Anna Thornton finds the freshman Anya Powers who had four goals in the first half. Clippers up 7-4. Greeley rallies in the third though. Sam Goldberg, they pull within 7-6. Sam Goldberg would do it again and they're close, but the Clippers assert themselves. Andy Lowenstein who hit the 100 goal plateau in her career scores. Caitlin DiApollonia, the free position goal. Clippers end it strong 13-8. Their seventh state championship for 